Amazon bans Cody, AMD prefers Intel, the FCC wages war with ISPs, blind people seeing with their tongues, mind control for your TV, and Microsoft has to clarify who gets Windows 10 for free. These are today's bits. Amazon has decided that Kodi, formerly known as XBMC, is nothing more than a gateway to pirated content. Because of this, they have banned it from the Amazon store for Android devices. This is, of course is funny because they flaunt the Plex app around like it's something completely different. They want to try and fight piracy by banning one app but not the other, when they both well, basically do the exact same thing. Aside from that point, who are they to say that Kodi or any app designed to access your media server is only used for piracy? I mean, sure, it can be used to watch stolen content, but so can any web browser. Granted, to play devil's advocate here, Kodi does have optional plugins that makes it extremely easy to watch pirated content from various sources. So I kind of understand that. But that's not Kodi's fault, it is a separate plugin. And, well, to that same argument, Plex doesn't have that option, so... Yeah. AMD recently revealed Project Quantum, which is a very small PC with a ton of GPU power. If you haven't already seen this, you should check out this video here for more details. Pretty much this thing is a powerhouse PC with enough power to run VR headsets that look damn sexy in the process. I have to give it to them, they really knocked it out with this one. It has a sleek design and it has some pretty good hardware. Running two Fiji video cards and an AMD labeled SSD, this thing is set to handle 4K with ease. The only thing is, it's powered by Intel. That's right, an Intel i7-4790K is at the heart of this water-cooled beast. What does this say for AMD? Well, on one hand, it's hilarious, because how can you expect to sell your processors to people when you don't even want to use them in your own custom builds? But, I actually understand where they're coming from. Look at it from the viewpoint of, we need to sell the idea of our video cards being capable of keeping up or beating in video cards. Now, they know that their processors can't keep up with Intel, and if they truly want to make a micro gaming PC that can handle high definition VR, the last thing they want to do is gimp it with an AMD processor. Yes, I know, the truth can hurt, but I applaud them for owning up to it. Even though I find it ironic, I still respect the decision to use a better product to offer a better system to their customers. I feel like they really swallowed the pride here to offer this product, so bravo AMD. Bravo. The FCC is tackling this whole net neutrality thing head on. Not even a month into the new regulations, they have already slapped AT&T, Verizon, and Sprint with fines related to the new rules. Verizon and Sprint have to pay $158 million for illegal billing practices, and AT&T has to pay $100 million for their infamous unlimited plans. Now, one can only hope that they turn their focus over to Comcast. I mean, I think everyone here can agree that they really need a good slap in the face. With a hammer. Check this out. Apparently, this thing is going to allow people to see stuff with their tongue. Using vibrations to represent colors, blind people will be able to actually get a feel for their surroundings and maybe even be able to walk around using just this device. Granted, you won't be able to just pop it in and start walking to the store. I mean, it's going to take some getting used to, but hey, still a cool idea. Speaking of cool ideas, now we might just be able to control our TVs with our minds. Which really, though, this is ultimately the way it has to go. I mean, at first people used to have to actually get up off their sofas to change the channel. Then they got remotes, then voice control, and, well, now mind control. Tell me you didn't see this coming. It's only in its prototype phase right now and only has some basic functionality to it, but with some more testing and some fine tuning, who knows what we'll be able to do with it. Last on my list today, Microsoft has clarified some confusing tweets that popped up recently saying that Windows 10 preview testers will get a free upgrade to the full retail version. Turns out that no, you will not get a free upgrade, but you can continue to opt into preview builds to keep your OS valid. If you don't want preview builds, then you either A, have to buy a license, or B, upgrade a valid Windows 7 or 8 copy. If you like this video, make sure to click the like button below, and if you want to hear more, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.